Mate, really, really good question. Uh, and for anyone that's been in the JZ scene for more than uh, five minutes, we'll know exactly what you're talking about. And that's the 1.5J where the 1J cylinder head goes on, the 2J bottom end. <coughs> and um, yeah, uh, many people have claimed it's better, it's this, it's that. And uh, it was big a decade ago. Um, it sort of disappeared when um, uh, a few people started to explain the differences. Um, so, but again, I, I don't like saying either way and telling people what they choose. What I like to do is just give them some facts and what we know um, about the differences between the two and then that allows you to make a decision or anyone who's interested in making that decision or, or, or looking to go down that path. Um, I think if I can give you the science behind it and the information of what it, which head's going to do, you know your car better than anyone else and what you're going to do with it and what where you want your power curve to be. So um, for circuit racing, yeah, definitely the 1J could be better. And the reason why is because the velocity profile is a little better. So with a turbo car and a restricted racing series and something where you need a broad RPM window in like in a circuit car, we, we generally like 3,500 RPM where uh, a, a drag car engine, we only need 1,500, you know, two grand would be great, but 1,500 RPM is plenty. So, you know, we'll have a 6,500 converter in a car that shifts at 7,800. Um, so in circuit racing, Definitely beneficial, um, and especially the limited RPM, because remember, it's going to come down to the CSA. We know that the CSA is a little bit smaller in spots, and we see that even the flow bench data, uh, the 1J head flowing max, maybe 215, 220 on a, on a you know, rare unicorn head that you find, um, and where the 2J is flowing around 235, uh, 240 CFM. Um, and again, I'm speaking round numbers, guys. I, I don't want people in the comments going, oh, I was flowed 244. Yeah, look, I've seen it too, but uh, very, very rare. Most of them are around that 238, 240 CFM. But again, uh, my point to it is they, they, they flow better. So um, for higher RPM, they're obviously going to be a better deal. Uh, and then as far as port porting them goes, um, you know, we'll see 330s out of a 2J with a really good port job, one mil oversized valves and so on, uh, where the 1J, I'm probably only around 315. Again, um, I could probably push them a little harder, um, and that they're all 45 seats, nothing fancy, no 50 degree stuff, which straight away would probably pick up another um, uh, six to eight, um, but yeah, um, so it's going to come down to what you're going to do with it, uh, whether it be circuit racing or, or drag racing. But um, yeah, de uh, they're definitely a smaller head for a smaller cube engine. And um, yeah, anyway, there you go.